Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to another Creation Club mod review. And at last, I'm finally catching up with all my backlogger stuff. Well, apart from the crossbow pack, which I just can't get to work at the moment. Anyway, today we'll be looking at an older mod called Shadowrend, which comes with a short but really interesting quest. Now, originally, Shadowrend was released on April the 5th in 2018. So again, I've been a bit tardy with this one um, and was released for 300 credits, which is approximately three dollars or two pound fifty ish but as with all these mods they come in various deals the quest was implemented by Anoctium, who I believe has made several Fallout mods in the past. I'm not really sure if this is correct, but it's the only Anoxium modder I could find, but I obviously won't post any uh, links just in case I'm wrong. Anyway, we'll do this video in the usual way, a uh, brief overview of the quest, delve into the stats and have a look at the aesthetics, and I'll give my thoughts at the end. So, uh, yeah, enough yapping, let's crack on. You will be sent to a pool a short distance northeast of the Atronach Stone, uh, which is located in the volcanic tundra between Windhelm and Riften, uh, near the Elder Gleam Sanctuary and Darkwater Crossing. I mean, the stone is uh, by the river to the southeast. Anyway, the pool contains skeletal remains which have stained the water black and will begin to froth as you approach. Above this anomaly, a weapon will appear. It is Shadowrend, a shadow weapon from the ruins of Milkar in the Shivering Isles. Shadowrend is both a greatsword and a battle axe, and it will continuously cycle between each version, with a weapon warping in and out of existence until you attempt to take it. As soon as you attempt to touch the weapon, it will summon a shadow enemy, which is a shadowy clone of your own character, meaning it will wear your equipment and know all your spells, powers and shouts. So bringing in a follower and popping out an attract may be very helpful. Anyway, once you've defeated yourself, you can claim Shadowrend and complete the quest. Now, if you're not sure which version you want, don't worry, as whichever version of the weapon you didn't select will reappear above the pool, or it will hang in the air indefinitely, so you can return to the pool at any time in order to switch between the two versions of Shadowrend, and you can do this as many times as you'd like, and it makes the location near the Atronach Stone kind of handy for fast travelling. Okay, so now we've got our hands on these gruesome little lovelies, let's take a look at the specs. Now, both forms of Shadowrend have the same enchantments and are upgraded in exactly the same way, but each have different stats appropriate for that kind of weapon. Both versions of the of Shadowrend require an Ebony Ingot and the Arcane Blacksmith perk to upgrade them and the Daedric Smithing perk to take them up to Legendary. Now the good news is you don't need a Daedra Heart to upgrade them and they're quite hard to find. Um, anyway, however, if you upgrade one of the weapons and decide to swap them out at a later date, you will lose that upgrade and get the base weapon back if you swap them around again. Okay, so we'll start with the Great Sword Sword version, which has a damage of 25 and a weight of 23. The enchantment is Weakness to Magic, where the target is 15% weaker to magic for 30 seconds. So as a comparison, the Daedric Great Sword has a base damage of 24 and a weight of 23. Now we have a, a Battle Axe version which has a damage of 26 and a weight of 27 and the same weakness to magic enchantment. And again, for comparison purposes, a, a Daedric Battle Axe has a damage of 25 and a weight of 27. So this gives you an opportunity to get a very powerful weapon, a sword or axe, whichever one you want to choose, very early on in the game. Okay, let's take a moment to look at these weapons and then I'll give my thoughts on this mod. The standout thing about the mod is the looks. The weapons are sinister looking, heavily marked with intricate daedric engravings, and the whole black mist when they're drawn makes these weapons look like they come from the dark, darkest depths of hell, and they're very impressive to look at. Um, sadly, I don't really think the textures are really top grade, to be honest with you, but you kind of actually lose that, the way um, it's actually created. Um, so you don't really notice that too much, it's only when you get close up. Um, sadly, the enchantment 
is a bit poor for a brought mod. Well, no, it's not a bit poor. It's really poor for a purchase mod, which is a shame as the Oblivion version also offered up a 30 point damage health enchantment. And I just can't for life me understand why it isn't so in this case. It also doesn't seem to have any hidden effects like Stendhal's, uh, Stendhal's Hammer's um, double critical hits effects, or at least anyway, none that I've found yet. So as with a few other mods, I see this as a pretty much a very niche weapon set, maybe for a battle mage where you strike your enemies a couple of times, then step back and hit them with ranged destruction spells. I mean, apart from that, I can't see another way to utilize this enchantment. If you have any other ideas, please leave a comment below uh, the video to help other people out but in charms aside these will stand up as hard hitting weapons in their own right um, obviously slightly being uh, more more powerful than daedric weapons only slightly though um, especially when fully upgraded and all the right perks and charms in play so all in all the quest was a lot of fun a really clever quest I showed I really enjoyed that um, obviously it was short and for role playing a dark arts battle mage or just an evil character these are actually quite perfect outside that I'm not particularly sure anyway as usual these are just my thoughts and as such don't count for zilch I do however hope I've given you enough information to make up your own mind as to whether this mod is good enough for you to spend your hard-earned septims on or not hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later love you